But the newly signed Republican-backed bill certainly has had its pushback from House Democrats. Now there are continued efforts to strike the law down. Groups representing Latino and black voters have filed multiple lawsuits to stop it. Six News reporter Bailey Bates has more on the legality issues at play. I think in the end, um, if we're going to take a partisan view of this, Republicans kind of won, Democrats kind of lost on this, this issue. The months-long fight from Texas Democrats ends after Senate Bill 1 meets Governor Greg Abbott's signature. The state's election rules just got tighter as critics still try to strike it down. And you have a bill that is partisan in nature, um, which you know, certainly this bill is. Uh, there's almost always an effort to block it in the courts uh, by the minority that couldn't stop it in the legislature. Multiple lawsuits filed argue the law's provisions restrict voter access illegally. But with favorable adjustments for the courts, political science experts and Governor Greg Abbott assume it will pass. I feel extremely confident uh, that when this law makes it through the lit litigation phase, it will be upheld in a court of law because exactly what we've said, no one who is eligible to vote will be denied the opportunity to vote. It does, however, make it harder uh, for cheaters uh, to cast an illegal ballot. Furthermore, the newly signed law extended early voting hours, prohibits drive through and 24-hour voting, and gives more power to poll watchers. The effect it will have on election results and turnout remains hypothetical. The net effect of this bill is likely to make it more difficult to vote in more populous counties, which are predominantly Democratic counties, and have very little effect on counties that uh, are less populous, so the, the rural counties that Republicans typically dominate. Although primarily focused on statewide and national elections, the law trickles down to county and city elections too. For 6 News, I'm Bailey Bates. And we did reach out to the McLennan County Elections Office about the new law. Officials there say they will continue to follow the Texas Election Code and are waiting for further instruction.